What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. In this Puma box, we have the brand new updated Puma King Ultimate. Let's hop into the unboxing. So very basic forever better box from the Puma brand. This is their logoing for essentially trying to make a stand with recycled materials. And this obviously, uh, this entire boot is made of 30% recycled materials, which is really cool. Big Puma cat on the front, forever better logoing there. You get all of the sizing guide on the back of the box. And then here is your size guide. Now, per the previous generation, which I think was actually a pretty, it was an okay football boot. It needed a lot of work, but it was fine. The sizing was okay. That boot was very thin. So I'm hoping that this one is a little bit wider, but I did get my same 9US UK8 Euro 42 and 27 centimeters. This of course is the Puma Ultimate FGAG. And this right here is what I wanna talk about. So FGAG with Puma, you know that there are a couple other of the Puma boots that I think should never, 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 never. I've ranted about this in a couple of videos. They, have, they should not, it should be illegal for them to say that they are FG and AG. I'm talking about the future. Thank God they have not done that with the new Ultra, which has extraordinarily aggressive studs. They make an AG Ultra now, so that's beautiful. Thank you, Puma. With the King, I actually have no qualms at all because they're conical studs. It's the same sole plate as far as I know. Very, very basic sole plate, nothing wrong with that. So this boot, totally fine. So let's get these unboxed from the uh, perspective of, uh, yeah, from the perspective of the AG FG thing. I don't know. And here we go. Ooh, nice. Very interesting. Okay, so they're definitely a lot more chunky than the last ones, uh, especially here in the heel area. Jeez Louise, that is a thick heel. Holy moly. And they actually look quite a bit wider. I don't know if that's gonna actually be the case, but they do look um, quite a bit wider and confirmed this is the same sole plate or at least a very, very similar sole plate to the previous generation, as I said before. You get all conical studs, so you have 11 studs in total, and they're all conical, which is totally fine for AG and FG, and they're also, the circumference of them isn't super wide, so these are going to dig into an AG surface as well. So I've actually got no problems with them advertising these as AG and FG, so awesome. Nice job, Puma. Okay, now, the King needed, I don't know if it really needed an update from the previous generation, other than the previous generation was like literally suited for people with pencil feet, which is a bummer. I wish they were a little bit more accommodating, but to be honest, this boot looks like it's a little bit more accommodating. So let's, I'm gonna take the paper out because I'm curious to know if this is the same. So this is uh, the K better upper that was on the previous generation and they feel pretty identical. This one does feel a little bit on the thicker side, just uh, not, not generally speaking thicker, um, but this one feels a little bit more robust and thicker than the previous generation. That previous generation was actually quite thin, had a very uh, sort of one-to-one -one K better, like synthetic leather sensation as well. You get their knit material here through the lacing system area as well, and then you have the grip control, grip control 3D texturing through uh, the striking surface area. Now, these have a similar feeling from how uh, I don't. I want to say. I don't want to say voluminous, but they have a very similar feeling to uh, the ribs on the uh, GX2. So from a height perspective, they're actually quite similar, and similar to the GX2. Obviously, these are being these are knit into the upper in the same way that the K better is sort of. It looks like it's kind of scrunched together to create those little. Uh, these little texture patterns. I'm interested to see if that will actually make any sort of difference while playing, because you don't get it on any other part of the boot. So you'll get supposedly a pretty seamless touch sensation, but then have that grip control 3D texturing here um, for a little bit more grip when passing or shooting. But it's not like grippy, if that makes sense. It's just a texture. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if that actually makes any sort of difference. Now, one of the things that I actually really like that Puma does is they have the nano grip technology, which is in their insoles. So the nano grip, as you can see, this is kind of, let's see if I can make it shine. Uh, it's a little bit shiny and the nano grip, you can scan for more forever better. Awesome. Um, so the nano grip technology is basically like Mizuno's zero glide. So it's got like really, really small grip elements that really help when you wear grip socks. And so that just helps your feet stay inside the boots 
quite a bit more. Um, the one thing that that obviously does really well is keep your foot on the bottom of the shoe, but it's the heel area that actually keeps your foot from rotating side to side or rotating this way. Um, and that's kind of a thing as well. So they've also massively updated the heel area with the Ortholite memory foam padding. I gotta say, it is really, really soft back here. I'm super excited to see what that feels like on my heel because the Ortholite, like they put quite a bit of Ortholite back here, more so than the new Puma Ultra 5 Carbon. And so I'm hoping that this actually is able to be a little bit more snug and comfortable than the previous generation King because that was one thing that um, the previous generation King was like a super thin heel area which was fine um, but it did it didn't provide enough padding to feel secure and comfortable whereas this actually looks like they made have they might have totally overcompensated and gone for like a super thick heel area which is totally fine as well um, you do have the lightweight outsole with the external heel counter as you can see here which we've talked about a little bit before with the all conical studs you do have that stability spine which they've thrown in um, from a flexibility perspective it is a little bit uh it's it's not as responsive through this area at all um, but you do get a pretty good amount of tor like rotational structure through this um stability spine which is good and then of course the conical studs which i am a huge fan of i don't really have that many gripes with this sole plate um in the previous generation they actually felt totally fine yes maybe you could use a little bit more structure here but for a boot like this that's supposed to be a little bit more of like a modern interpretation of a classic boot i don't know like i don't i don't really have that many issues with it and i'm just a fan of conical studs in general so i'd rather like they do that than do something really stupid like they do on the future because i think other than like playing on fg surfaces with the future that sole plate is completely useless which of course for a modern day standard when people most players are kind of a hybrid between ag and fg it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense in my opinion um yeah and none of that bs from from their other models as well so this boot, as I said before, is made of 30% recycled materials, which is great. It is a step forward in football boots and football boot tech, just getting a little bit more towards the recycled materials, which I think is always a good thing as well. Now, the internal side of the boot, which we'll, I'll show you guys in the uh, kind of the other camera angles, is kind of like a suede liner as well. So it's, it's like a micro suede material. And then in the forefoot, very, very similar. It's got that like kind of felt micro suede here like you do have on uh, the heel liner as well. I'm, I'm a little bit more excited about these than I was the previous generation. I know the previous generation, like quite a lot of players actually enjoyed playing in them. I thought they were horrifically uncomfortable. They were so thin. They were so narrow. Like that and the, what are they called? The Tenasi? I think from True Socks, like True Socks decided to make a football boot and those boots are horrifically uncomfortable because of how narrow they are. These actually look quite a bit wider. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that these are gonna be pretty good. Uh, I'd like to wear a Puma boot for once. Uh, the Ultra 5 Carbon made me feel kind of cool because I was like, oh, a Puma boot that I can actually get around. Like even if it's not my favorite because of the, you know, the sole plate is like, so stupidly aggressive which i think is dope like it's awesome i love that they did that and as i've said i, I praise puma for doing that um I'm, i would like to wear a puma boot on a regular basis like one of my favorite boots of all time is this guy the puma evo power 1.2 like i love these i think puma needs to go back to the sort of a little bit more simple designs and i'm hoping that a boot like this that has a more simple design but also is able to provide that like kind of leather like feel with a little bit more I don't know like as I said I've like I want to like the tempo I want to enjoy the tempo but the tempo is super thin it's not the shape of a tempo anymore and that material is just like it's fine fly touch plus is fine but it's like I don't know the shape is just all wrong whereas I feel like if this if the K better actually does what it's supposed to I think this could be kind of a cool football boot we'll see in the on feet portion of the video because i haven't actually tried these on yet um, but i'm hope I, I am hopeful i'm not my expectations aren't too high honestly uh, but i am hopeful and then of course the puma ultra 5 non-carbon review i'm super excited for because if it has any of the same components that the ultra 5 carbon had 
but with a less like literally like steel plate underneath your foot i think that boot's gonna be really kick-ass so without further ado guys let's hop into the on feet portion of the video and we'll talk all about sizing comfort performance well not performance but sizing and comfort at least out of the box with the uh, puma king ultimate the new generation and hopefully decide whether or not these are going to be worthy of a play test and a one month review let's hop into it all right fam out here in the backyard with the pretty cool looking honestly uh king ultimate 2.0 for a better term they are a little bit updated the heel looks so much better thank god um, but it still keeps that k better upper that i actually think is pretty good with a little bit of a wider shape so i'm hoping i'm crossing my fingers that these are a little bit better and they're a boot that i can actually wear because i thought the king ultimate the 1.0 k better decent but no grip elements no nothing very very thin which is awesome thinner than um fly touch plus from nike's like synthetic leather and these he this heel area i'm just like oh they finally did a heel area that i think is going to be better for most people because their heel areas for the most part suck new ultra definitely a different story and new king sounds like definitely a different story so Without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling so that you guys can see what these look like on feet. Same sole plate, of course. Um, same kind of K-better upper. Uh, it feels the exact same, at least. I think it's that same, like, one-piece K-better upper. And then they've made some minor, you know, a little bit more robust here in the heel area, hopefully for some durability stuff. And then it is quite a bit wider. So I'm hoping that the 9 US fits me a little bit better. But here we go. This is the moment of truth. Does a Puma King Ultimate actually fit me? Oh, Okay. All right, Puma. Okay, so these are like, these are definitely more comfortable than the first generation. Um, they are still quite tight right in this area, but they're, they aren't like squeezing my foot, I want to die type, type boots. Um, the heel area feels fantastic, much better, at least straight out of the box. And the shape feels good. That's sizing. So that's a 9 US. If you are somebody who likes a little bit of extra space, I would probably go up half a size. Um, wow. I'm honestly really impressed by these. These are so much better than the last generation. These are so much better. The heel area in particular, even though it is a little bit more chunky. Holy moly. Man, these might be a really, I'm, I'm genuine. As I told you earlier on in the video, I am coming at these with a very, very low expectation. And they have completely, completely blown me away. And the cool part is, and this is, a lot of other brands need to take note of this. If you look at this compared to the other, the first generation of Puma King Ultimate, they really didn't change that much. Like the upper is still the same. You've got texturing in a little bit of a different area with the um, Grip Control Pro 3D. And then they've completely reconstructed the heel area, but they've kept the insole. They've kept the sole plate. They've kept all the elements of this boot that are probably the good elements, right? The upper and the, the sole plate is, is fine. It's, it's totally adequate. But God, they've totally changed the fit and the feel of these. Dude, these feel way better. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked. I'm like so, I'm so pleasantly surprised. And I was so excited about the Puma. Um, you guys will, pr uh, I guess you'll see this video before the Ultra non-carbons. Um, but if you don't, the Puma non-carbons and the Puma Ultra Carbons, Ultra 5 Carbons, are a massive upgrade over the previous generation Ultra Ultimate. And it sounds like, well, it doesn't sound, it feels like these are a massive upgrade from the first generation Puma uh, King Ultimate as well. I am genuinely shocked with these. I was so... I was so kind of surprised by the difference in shape. Like these are a good, like they literally look like a centimeter wider in general shape. They'll still fit narrower foot shapes, I think. They'll be a little bit more voluminous, but God, these are, man. I, like, <laughs> I'm so surprised. Okay, so here is a full look and like shock, like complete shock. I was not, I had completely written off the Puma King Ultimate because I thought it was, I know there are some people who like it, but like 
super uncomfortable, bad heel area. Sole plate is fine, like that's fine. Upper is fine, but the shape was off. It was so unbelievably tight, all this stuff. I think they've nailed this. Like this is what the Puma, this is what a new generate, it's not the Puma King of old, I get it. It's not the leather one, okay. But like if we're gonna put this on its own, like as a synthetic leather boot, dude, like, dude ser like very genuinely these are these are pretty impressive now like they fit so much better the heel area with the suede and the, yes it's a little bit more bulky but who cares because guess what it's more suitable for performance and comfort this they took they must have, there's no way that uh, that puma didn't look at what the the asics heel liner looks like and make basically the same heel because this this feels very similar to those very very similar to those and i am genuinely shocked as to how good these feel on feet so touch on the ball very good the k better does a really nice job of giving you that kind of synthetic barefoot feeling um, which i really enjoy again as i've said before the tempo fly touch plus is is good it's not amazing this k better i think is a is a for pun intended is a better material like it feels better on feet it feels a little bit more kind of thin and really nice and leather like um i'm really excited to go to the pitch and do some passing um because i want to see what the striking surface is like with this grip control pro material because you have quite a bit of texturing here um, or grip control 3d sorry and uh, you get it all the way through kind of this passing area so yes it's not a ton it's not a, it, it's not going to be a ton of texturing and grip um, but it might give me enough of a little bit of extra pizzazz as i'm passing to be like just to give you that little bit of extra something there a um, little bit of extra pinginess and stuff but guys i like completely shocked completely blown away by what they've done with this this is an upgrade in every single way that this is why brands that pay attention to feedback from reviewers like you know myself and josh and j mike and and boot wizard and james boot wizard and um lockhart boot blog and like all those guys like all those do like we are all here to help promote the boots that are the best and give feedback and and kind of point out and really exemplify negatives of the boots that aren't so good so that brands can because at the end of the day i'm not concerned about boot brands i'm concerned about the consumer because the you the consumer watching this video is the one who needs to get boots that fit their feet and if boots suck you're not going to want to buy them and so it's like this it's a win-win situation if it feel and look maybe a puma rep didn't even didn't even like watch my review on the puma king ultimate maybe they just didn't even pay attention they were like this guy is a piece of crap whatever like he doesn't know what he's talking about fine no problem however all the things that I mentioned about the first generation have been now integrated in here so it's really hard to think that puma hasn't at least been like hey maybe he has a point or maybe all the people testing their boots have been like eh, you gotta fix all these things anyway regardless of how it happened Puma, fantastic job. Unbelievable upgrade. This, I would say, is not, it's still not like the upper, upper, upper echelon of football boots on the market, but it is good. And I'm real, I'm actually excited now to try these and to really break them in. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of um, maybe some a little bit of squeezing here on the outside, but it's not unbearable. I'm not sitting here going like, oh my God, my feet hurt. It's like totally fine. Like I could sit in these, no problem. Again, touch feels good. Sole plate is totally fine. It's conical, which means I can go test these on AG and on FG surfaces, which is a huge plus. And they're so much better. I don't like, this is why brands that do the incremental upgrades are gonna win in the long term. That's why Mizuno and Asics are so, their, their boots are so good. Yes, maybe they don't release colorways as often. Yeah, maybe they don't release new boots as often. But when they do, they're tasteful upgrades. That's why... Puma has crushed it with these and I think has crushed it with the new Ultra because it is, it's tasteful upgrades. They changed all the things they needed to change, made better where nah, it was a little bit lazy maybe beforehand, whatever. Awesome, 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 awesome. So I, I could not be more excited. I think this is one of the most excited, one of the boots that I've been most 
kind of like, oh God, I'm gonna have to wear these and I'm gonna have to break them in. I am now, I think Puma King Ultimate 2.0 is a boot that I am probably most excited to test out right now. Uh, and I'm probably going to go out to the field either today or tomorrow and just like rip around in them because I am genuinely thrilled and excited to try these out because they are actually comfortable now and they feel good and they feel good on ball. And I think they're going to just be an awesome pair of boots once I fully break them in. So, wow, honestly, guys, I, like I took them out of the box earlier in the video and was like, yeah, they look cool and they it looks like they have upgrades. But again, Ooh, the previous generation was like down here, like pretty low bar. Now I'm like, okay, Puma, I see you. Like upgraded the Ultra, upgraded the King. They're actual upgrades. It's not just like, oh, we like changed some things for the sake of change. It's like, no, these are like very good upgrades. Okay, now do it with the future because the future sucks. So please do it with the future. Please, 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 please. And make the heel area like this. So that's going to wrap up today's video. I'll give you one more look at the Puma King Ultimate. That was about a 10 minute rant. So thank you for sticking with me because I am genuinely thrilled uh, to try these out. I am so pumped that they are a better shape and a uh, much better, much better silo, it sounds like. Um, and if you are interested, here's the other comparison. If you are interested in the synthetic leather type of vibe of a boot, so if you're kind of cross-shopping these with the Tiempo 10s, I don't know if I'm gonna, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can say it quite yet, but out of the box, these are more comfortable. And I have a pretty good sense, like pretty quick after testing or after putting boots on, like what's gonna be better. I think these are better than Tiempo 10 already, like already. That's a pretty big comment. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.